There is a revelation to this ministry. So let your word, your message align with it. And so God has spoken to our father here, our pastor, and open his eyes and give us a guide to run for the year and reveal to us that this year is that abundant. Hope I'm communicating. Yes. And so for you to experience the revelation, God has spoken. Because in the realm of the story, we are one. Just to compliment what he has told you. When you are talking about God of abundance, in the content of this learning, speaks clearly that he's a God of sufficiency. He's a God of prosperity. He's a God of multiplication. Please get this understanding of this message. Abundance here we're talking about is not that you are prospering in one aspect, and another aspect of your life you are finding serious challenge. That's that partial message. In the time of abundance, it cuts across all areas of your life. In your marriage, you are saved. In your ministry, you are progressing. In your health, same thing. In the life of your children, same thing. In every area. That's what we're talking about. So I get to understand that a lot of us, in some aspect of our life, something is wrong somewhere. And we feel comfortable. No, you've not arrived to that level of abundance. And so the opposite of abundance, we all know, is lackness. Death, setback, barrenness. But that's not the teaching for today. The teaching is focused on abundance. God said in his words, said by people that do know their God, they shall do what? They shall be strong and they shall do exploit. Daniel chapter 11, verse 32. So which invariably tell you, the extent of you knowing your God, determine how far you will be in life. It determines how far you will achieve the extent of knowing God.